guys, it's noon. Can you see that on the clock on the wall? It's noon. Today is the 21st of December and it is the darkest day of the year. And this is how bright it gets at this hour. Let me just like kind of give you an idea. Okay, that actually looks quite bright. Uh, don't get fooled by my camera. It's pretty dreary. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty cloudy as well, which is not helping. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just, I, this is not my favorite day of the year. This is not my favorite time of the year. Uh, just, no, you can see more out here. It's just not, this isn't noon, you know, this is, this is dusk or dawn, quite frankly. I mean, not impressed. Nope, and we're not getting any focus because it's just, why do you hate me camera? Also my camera is like starting to flicker on the screen. I don't like that. But yeah, just thought I'd show you. I mean, we're not getting like this sort of 100% darkness all the time. So, I mean, I know that I'm more fortunate than those that live further north that literally have no daylight whatsoever. This is, you could consider this daylight. I mean, they get full on darkness. Sorry, that was my uh, laptop. But yeah, I just thought I would share with you this. This is seriously, this is pretty accurate. It's a bit more blue on the camera. It's pretty gray outside, but that's more to do with the weather than the time of year. So yeah, I'm baking gingerbread and I'm wrapping up some presents and I'm just kind of, yeah, I'm gonna sit in it for a bit. But I thought I would show you what I got in the mail today, or yesterday, sorry. Um, so someone decided to spoil me, someone in Iceland decided to spoil me this Christmas and give me kind of, I guess, a Christmas present, which to that I have, I can only say thank you. And now it started raining. Eh. Anyway, <laughs> I was going to show you the yarn. So first of all, I got this lovely bag. I'm not sure if this person ordered via this shop or if this is related to the shop, so I just thought I'd be frank about which shop it is coming from. And I got this as a present, like I said. So, um... I got shade cards, shade cards for all the Lopi yarns, or the Istex yarns I should say, they're not called Lopi, they are, that is some serious rain, why is it not, why is it not snowing guys, what's snow, so, this is the shade cards for the Pilotti Lopi, this is the unspun Icelandic yarn, which, look at that colour, look at that colour, okay, so I wanted the black, but that colour is pretty marvellous, and, uh, I got shade cards for Let Lopi, and I had this weird dream of making a dress in Let Lopi. It's probably one of my long-term queue items, and it's the Klukka dress. It will happen. And I got shade cards for Einband, which is the single ply Lopi yarn. I say Lopi yarn, Lopi kind of means yarn, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, so that is that. And then I got shade cards for Olafos Lopi, which was the sweater I had in my queue, but plans changed but at least I have the shade card now so that's good so I thought this was just gonna be a little something I've got a whole tower of Plutulopi so if you don't know Plutulopi oh, Plutul Plutul I always call it Plutulopi but that's completely wrong uh, it means plate lopi or disc lopi or disc wool if you will it just means that it comes in a disc. So let me show you. These are completely stuck to each other. So I had to struggle to disentangle them. But this is what it looks like. Look at that. Cassie, be quiet. <laughs> She's snoring. Uh, yeah, this is the disc of floppy yarn. And you basically, let me see if I can show you. So you just pull through the center. If you don't do that, you're going to have a nightmare. Uh, it breaks easily because it's completely unspun. So you're just going to knit from the inside um my mom has used this for some kind of wall hanging that we have in the cabin so just like you can knit from that and then uh, i can and i will i'm gonna make the rustic cardigan i think i really like the idea i was like kind of drawing all over the knit along that was happening for that earlier this year and so yeah gonna make a black and white rusty and that's why i have all this black and white but all the stuff in the bottom here which is including that amazing color sorry I need to relax. Um, and this really cool yellow and brown shade. Don't know what to do with that. And I have no idea how to get this to London. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to say thank you. Obviously, I will cover this more in the podcast, if not just saying the same stuff all over again. Uh, I will definitely be freshing up on Patricia of the Knitography Knitting YouTube channel. 
on her video on how to knit that cardigan with this yarn because she had a lot of really useful advice because this yarn is quite a different beast you really have to be gentle with it because if it breaks it breaks you know but you can easily join it because it is unspun so yeah i'm gonna just keep on baking um and knit <laughs> and another weather report it's now one o'clock in the afternoon and this is about as much daylight as we have there's like a hint of sunlight over the horizon, but uh, not very optimistic. Happy, what's it called, Sursnu? It's like the turn of the sun, or midwinter, or, yeah. Oh, joy. Så tenner vi tre lys i kveld for lengsel, håp og glede. De står og skinner for seg selv og oss som er til stede. Så tenner vi tre lys i kveld for lengsel, håp og glede.